Jen Anderson here. Oh my gosh, I just got my new Lecture 1917 in the mail and I am so excited to jump in and start using it. But I need to finish my other Moleskine first. In today's video, I want to talk to you a little bit about that excitement that happens when we get our new bullet journal and how we want to jump into it. But how what to do to hold yourself back a little bit so that you finish off the old ones strong. So stay tuned. I've got some great details for you about that. So on this video, what I wanted to talk to you about is how you have your old Moleskine or your old whichever bullet journal it is that you're using and what you need to do to finish off strong before you move on to the next one. And so with this Moleskine, if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know that I haven't been super stoked about it. So this was my first time using a Moleskine instead of a Lectern. And what... Um, what I don't like about the Moleskine is it's got this flimsy, flexible cover that doesn't work for me because when I'm writing in it, I want it to be a little bit more firm. I like the journal to have its own, um, to keep its own kind of base. And so it's fine in that I can turn it over and then I can write over here on the right side. But on this side, it's harder because it curves over like that, right? So it's kind of, so then I find myself opening and trying to work with that or I find myself not even taking advantage of the last couple of columns of the dots. And so anyhow, so that's another reason why I'm excited to go back to the hardcover and Electrum. But, um, and then the other thing that's kind of like in my situation right now is if you saw my previous one, I got my journal wet. It was in my purse and some water um, flooded in there. And so there are pages that have been totally, um, <laughs> you can see the water totally soaked it and made it kind of, it almost actually kind of gave it a cool um, watercolor look to it, kind of tie dye. But um, but it's warped it. You can see how on this end, how it's all warped. The other end that didn't get wet, it's kind of your normal, um, how it flares out a little bit over time. It's kind of normal. But on this end, it's all sorts of funky and just warped. And so now that I got my new lectern here, I'm like going, ah, like I really, really, really want to jump into using this one. But I need to hold off because I need to finish with this baby and get her done, right? And so, um, so here's the thing. I want to share with you a couple of points about this is that when I started this one, my goal was to use it for the first three months of the year. And I planned it out so that I would have enough pages. And at the end, there'll probably be a few pages that are going to be left blank. And I'm okay with that. It's totally all right. But the, um, you know, for some people, they're like, they want to fill in every single page in the bullet journal before they move on. That's what works for you, then great. Then you do that. For me, that's not what's what's important to me. I would rather have just this one bullet journal be about those three months, and then I'm going to move on to the next one. So that's that's what works for me, and that's how I operate my business, how I think about my life, and all. It's like I look I look at things in three month chunks. So that works for me, and then um. And then the other thing too is that as much as you may be tempted to go to that new one, finishing off the old one, you're going to feel so much better that you completed and that you stuck with what you had planned out to do. Um, now, if there's anybody out there in the bullet journal, journal world who feel like, uh-uh, no, like if you just want to move on, just go for it. Move, great. If that's what works for you, so be it. I just find for myself putting a bookend and sticking with... Um, what it is that that you have set out to do and just stick with it and complete it at the end you're going to feel so much better so that would be my suggestion for you is just stick with it it'll be it'll be fine you'll have that chance to go to the next one and then the other thing too is by ordering a new one before far enough advance before your other one is done is it gives you a chance to start thinking and planning about what do you want in your new one and so here's a little a little bullet journal hack for you this is what I do is that on the inside cover of my current one I put a post-it note and I write down all of the key things that it is that I want to accomplish in the next bullet journal so that way when I go to start planning for using this one I don't have to stop and think and be like now what was it I wanted to put in there and what was it in the last one that didn't work for me and what's the new stuff and how many pages do I think I need for that Uh, -uh. I don't want to have to stress about that and, and then go through my whole setup of the journal and be like, oh no, I forgot I wanted to incorporate this thing and how am I going to fit that in? So instead, in your current one, if you give yourself some time, you write down the things that work for you. Again, I just use a little, little post-it note here in the inside cover. As I'm working with my current one, I go, oh, okay, on the next one, 
I need to make sure that I add a couple extra more pages for that type of habit tracking, or I need to just not even worry about that kind and just delete that one completely. So all those little kinds of notes is what's going on on here. And so give yourself that time. So that way, when you go to set up your new one, you know what you want and what you don't want to put in the new one. So that's a little a little tip for you that'll make make setting up your new one so much more fun and exciting. All right, guys, let me know what thoughts that you have about um, holding back from using your new your new bullet journal. What are you doing to keep yourself under control so that you don't start before you should? Okay, talk to you soon, and remember always that God has a message for you. Use your bullet journal for writing down that inspiration. It will help you and guide you, and you will see the hand of God in your life. Take care, my friends. We'll see you again.